All right, let's go over number eight. So number eight, we have a picture that we are um, holding up to a wall, trying to keep it straight. Right, so if this was, if this textbook was a picture, let's say, and I wanted to kind of line it up, and I need to push against the wall, <coughs> against the picture, and then the wall pushes on the picture, right, and equal to the force I push with. So I push the book, the book gets pushed into the wall, and then the wall by the third law pushes out. If I don't push hard enough, then the normal force isn't going to be good enough, and then there won't be enough friction, and the picture is going to slide down. So I need to make sure I push hard enough to keep enough static friction there so the book stays in place. So that's what we're imagining in this um, example. So if this is your wall, and then we have a picture up against the wall, and then there's a person standing there, and they are holding the picture up, let's say. So they're pushing on the picture, making sure it stays. If we draw the free body diagram for that, we have um, Fg down, so that's equal to the mass of the picture times G, so that turns out to be 10.8 newtons. And then the person's pushing this way, so we'll put a P there for their pushing force, and then the wall pushes out with the force equal to that, and that's going to be your normal force because the wall is your surface in this case. So your normal force is coming not this way. So compared to all the other problems we've been doing, everything's basically turned 90 degrees. And then what holds your picture up is the static friction force. So basically what we want to do is have a static friction equal to gravity. And then we know that the book will stay in, or the picture will stay in equilibrium. So we want a friction force equal to 10.8 and we're told that the static friction coefficient is 0 0.660. So now that gives us the ability to find our normal force using our equation for static friction there. So the normal force we need would be given by that equation. We'll set them equal. And so then we have 10.8 newtons equals 0 0.660 times the normal force. And then if you solve this for the normal force, you get 16.4 newtons. So that means we need a normal force of 16.4, which then means that's how hard we have to push, 16.4 newtons. So that's, our, that's how we get that.